John from Joe Ventures Outdoors, and uh, we're out in the garage today. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's been a few days since I've made a video. Uh, just uh, had some things going on. Just needed to take a little break. Um, and uh, so I just thought I'd come out here and show you a few things I've picked up and some things that are sent to me. Um, I have to say, um, first off, that this community has just blown me away here uh, recently. Um, it seems like every time I turn around, I got a package in the mail with with knives that are just gifts, either from a viewer or from another channel. And uh, I've just been blown away by this um, the kindness of this community. And um, so I want to say thank you. Um, turn my light on here. I always keep forgetting to turn my ring light on. But... Um, yeah, so I just really am appreciative. I, if I haven't said that enough, I, I probably haven't said it enough, but I mean, it's just amazing. Everybody says it. This community is something else. Um, there's nothing like it out there. Uh, very encouraging, um, just very giving. And we give things back and forth. I mean, you know, I've, I've sent things to people and they've sent things to me and it's just, it's just really cool. So uh, I got a little coffee today. Uh, this mug, I've not talked about mugs on here. This isn't a mug channel. <laughs> but this is handmade by a local artisan, artisan here. And so it's really cool. We bought several and uh, just love it. Drink a little cup of coffee here. Um, so... Uh, let's talk about some things. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I got a mail call. And so I was contacted by Mo at Kirby Creek, at the Kirby Creek outfit. Uh, and uh, uh, Kirby Creek Mo, I think is what he goes by, I think now. But uh, Mo contacted me and said, hey, I won Hillbilly Ridge Outdoors, his 500 sub giveaway. And congratulations, Mickey. That's just fantastic. Appreciate his channel. I mean, man, you got to go check it out. I, I really like his videos. And so Mo contacted me and said, hey, I won his giveaway. So if you didn't watch it, he sent, uh, Mickey sent a buck 110 to Buck for refurbishing. I think he, they put a new blade on it in a spa treatment. And I did that with a 55, a buck 55. Buck does a fantastic job with that. It takes a while, but when you get it back, it's like a brand new knife. So Mickey had that as the giveaway, or the other choice was another knife. And so Mo asked me, hey, do you have a Buck 110? I said, well, yeah, I do. You know, I have a Buck 110. He said, well, I won his giveaway. I want to give you the prize, but it's the Buck 110 that he got refurbished or another knife. And I said, well, you know, I'll take the other knife. I didn't even know what it was, to tell you the truth. And then Mo came back with another video. Okay, I'll have him send it to you. It's a Kershaw. And it's a Kershaw Federalist. Now, the box is no judgment of the knife. Um, <laughs> this was a Kershaw Federalist that Mickey ordered and got lost in the mail. And then all of a sudden it showed up after... The company had already sent him another knife. He reached out to him. They said, keep it. Uh, that's pretty cool. So um, hopefully I've got all those details right. So he decided to use it as one of the choices in the giveaway. So Mo had him send that to me. So uh, this is it. And I was just blown away by that because I had been wanting to try this knife and check this out. Now this is a this is a pretty nice knife. It's a really nice knife. It's got micarta handles. It's very thin. Um, it's got, um, it's USA made. It's got CPM 154 steel uh, on the blade. You can see there, made in the USA. Um, and Kershaw on that side. Everybody talks about this uh, pivot. Um, uh, the pivot uh, side, this side of the pivot is being pretty ornate, and that is pretty cool. Has a lanyard hole. You can see I've already got a lanyard in it. I've got an RDS wood turning and acrylics bead. Geo Ventures Outdoors. 
So no pocket clip. Um, and this, it's got like a T8, I think, on this side. So this is not a slip joint. Got a backspacer here. I think this is like FRN or something. This is a double detent system of locking. Um, it's, it's not a slip joint. It's not a liner lock. You know, it doesn't have a liner lock. Does it have any other locking system? It's double T tent. So what that is, um, if I'm getting this right, is there? I don't know if you can see them in there or not, but there are two detent balls uh, in this handle that when this comes open, you can hear it click, and that is what clicks it in place and then it has another half stop about right there and then you've got the retention taking it on down into the knife i mean it's got good retention this is an extremely smooth knife um and that 154 cm i'm not up on the steels but that is a little a little nicer steel than normal. So I think this knife, I think it was on sale for 40 some dollars at one of the retailers, but normally it was right around a hundred. So uh, Mickey and Mo, thank you very much for this wonderful gift. Um, I was blown away by that. So that was the first thing. It's pretty incredible. Um, and then as far as the size is concerned, this is, you know, I'm long-winded here today, uh, but, you know, it's a good, pretty, pretty good size knife. I mean, it's three and a half. It, it's comparable to the size of a Benchmade bug out. So, and you got a nice, comfortable handle. You know, I think it's, you did it in the right place, three and a half, four-inch handle, at least. Yeah, probably about a four-inch handle. I mean, it's very comfortable. I've been carrying it the last couple days, ever since I got it. So, very cool. Thank you so much. And I'm carrying that in a Randy's WSG slip. Uh, this was the slip that fit it the best. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so what else do I got here? Well, I went to Walmart. And you know what this is going to be. It's the orange <laughs> um, Ozark Trail uh Axis lock knife. And um, people are calling it the Benchmade Killer. Eh, I don't know if it's Benchmade Killer. Benchmades are a lot more expensive because this was only $10. And then my Benchmade was $170. My Benchmade bug out was $177 or something like that when I bought it. So uh, it's a lot less expensive. So I've had a lot of ex Ozark trails over the years. I've kind of cleaned a lot of them out of my collection. Uh, gave them away, most of them. Uh, but I kept a few. The ones with the access lock that I have, I do have the others. I didn't bring them out here. I probably should have. But this is the newest type on YouTube. And it. so I went to my local Walmart. Not my closest one. I had to go a little bit farther away, and they had them in the case. So you have to look in the case. They're not out on the... They may not be out uh, in the aisle or anything like that, but they're in the case and they're about $10. And so I picked one up um, and it is pretty great. I've been carrying it. I've enjoyed carrying it and using it extremely sharp. Now, when I first got it, it had some blade wobble. I just tightened the pivot a little bit and that was great. The other issues I've had, and they're minor, is this right here, this access lock, it wasn't working right. I, I flicked it a couple of times when I first got it, and it got stuck, and it wouldn't lock. Well, what happened was I just turned this a little bit, took my thumbs and finger and just went like that and turned it, and then it, now it's operating great. And it's been pretty much that way ever since. So I think, I don't know if it's just this one, 
or if it's a problem with this access lock. But there's some spot in there where it won't work right. But, you know, it's working. If I can do it right, <laughs> you know, it's working great now. I mean, look at that. Just falls. These are ball bearings in there. It's pretty amazing. It really is. You need to pick one up if you've got one at your local Walmart. But I put this lanyard on it and the bead. Um, but it's it's fun. It's really fun. So I had to check that out. The other thing that I've had happen was these caught on my jeans and opened the knife when I pulled it out of my pocket. So I didn't think that was too cool. But that only happened like once or twice, something like that. So it hasn't happened since. So I don't know if it was just the way I pulled it out of my pocket. But um, this is could be a little bit of a problem because if that's not locking correctly, you know, that thing can fall down. But it, it really hasn't happened too much since then. So uh, maybe one other time. If I'm just sitting here flicking it, you know, Normal use, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but, uh, you know, $10, and it's just amazing for $10. It really is amazing for $10. Look at that. So, that's what I got there. I don't want to cover Mickey's sticker. but And then, I went to Tractor Supply, and they had some sales, new knives on sale, and they had this peanut. It's a Roper peanut, and... Uh, you can see it there. I put a little bit of oil on it. It needed to be oiled. It needed to be sharpened too. It was not sharp. Um, but I learned about this on RJ's RJ's knives. I was watching one of his videos, and he had. And I was like, "Oh, I got that at Tractor Supply. That's pretty cool." I don't have very many small knives. I mean, I've got a few, but this is a great little carry. Um, throw that in your pocket. Here's one of my old janky <laughs> slips I made when I first started. Um, and it worked great for that. I mean, this is just a piece of scrap leather. I just put that together. Look at that. Gosh. But it fits right down in there. I like it. So I picked that up. I think this is like 440 steel. I'm not sure. Might be 4. I mean, it's probably 420, I should say. But pretty good fit and finish, really. It's got a half stop. I like it. Nice little peanut. Just $10. And then I went to a, uh antique store. And I looked around. I really like this place. I don't get there very often. That's kind of off the beaten path. And uh, clean this up a little bit. And I picked up this Barlow. Um... And it is a Colonial Providence USA. And uh, it was in pretty good shape. Now, I've cleaned it um, and polished it. I had to uh, put a new tip on the blade. I had to reprofile this blade a little bit. It was broke. Uh, the tip was broke off. So, put a new tip on it. Sharpened it. It is sharp. It is carbon steel. Um... As you can see, the patina on there, I cut an apple with it the other day. And uh, spay blade there. It was in really good shape. I was really kind of disappointed with my trip there. They were either asking too much money for the knives that were there, or it just wasn't that many this trip. But um, but I saw this, and it was $10, and I thought, oh, I, I think I'll pick that up. I don't have a Colonial Barlow. And I really like the covers on it, and it seemed well made. Um, it's very sturdy. It doesn't have the clip-on covers. It has, you know, the actual um, pinned-on Dell ring covers, and there's saw, saw cut. And, man, I've really enjoyed this. I really like this knife. I'm going to carry this quite a bit, I think. But Colonial USA Barlow, I'm carrying that in a Richter slip. I have a Richter slip. It's saw cut, and I got a black bead on there, and it just fits right down in there. I mean, the whole knife is down in there, so that's nice. It, this slip fits well with uh, Sodbuster Juniors with the big handles, and um, you know, with the thicker handles, not the bone, and then the uh, Barlows, little thicker Barlows. 
This one works great for that. Michael does excellent work, as does Randy. So that's in that one. And uh, so then from there, uh, I was on my way to a working more of an evening shift uh, in my job. And then I went to a flea market that was indoor. And, oh, they didn't really have anything. But I saw this down in the cabinet. And it looked a lot worse than this. I've cleaned it up. This is a little pocket pal. And I have a pocket, a couple pocket pals, but the one pocket pal that I carry has a lot of blade play. Ooh, that thing is sharp. Uh, a lot of blade play. So I needed it. I was like, oh, this is nice. It was only $8. So I grabbed it. It was a Victorinox, you know, sack pack. Um, so, you know, I grabbed it and I love it. I've carried it a few times, um, since then. So nice little pocket pal. So that's great. And, um, so yeah, there's where we're doing there. And then leather work, I've been working on a few things, but, um, the recent one, I think I'll go ahead and show it to you. I wasn't going to, but I made a slip for a gentleman for a Nola Chucky Jack. And, um, this is a two piece, you know, as compared, there's my Nola Chucky and my one piece. This is a two piece and he wanted the two tone and the two piece. So I made that brown stitching, the wolf down here at the bottom, which that looks really nice down at the bottom like that. Good call if you're watching this. <laughs> and uh, so I really like this. I'm going to have to Maybe make more like this. Two piece are a little more difficult to make because you got to match these pieces up and then you've got a little more stitching. But I think it turned out great. I'll get that sent off to him here soon. So, gosh, I've been going on here for a little bit. Um, that's what we got uh, here today. And uh, just thank you to Hillbilly Ridge Outdoors and uh, Kirby Creek Mo for the wonderful gift. I've got two more packages coming. Uh, here in the next couple of days, I'll show you what those are. More Victorinox are coming in the mail. And then I've got a surprise package from Jesse McJames. So it'll be interesting to see what's in that. And I thank you all for watching.